Hi, hi there, Aquarius. How are you guys doing? I really hope that this reading finds you well. Welcome to your weekly reading back with me again, NSA from Leader Stereo. For those of you who are new to my channel, hello. And for those of you who have been here a long time, welcome back. So, um, if you're new to this channel, this is going to be a relationship spread, meaning that you could always apply this with anyone in your life. It could be with your boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, exes, crushes, fiance, family members, anyone. I am basically just going to be picking up your relationship energy in general, all right? And don't forget to also check your sun, moon, or Venus sign, because for me personally, I realize that with my readings, I resonate much, much more with my Venus sign rather than my sun sign, probably because my Venus is in the eighth house along with my North node right there. I don't really know. But if it doesn't resonate, then it just doesn't resonate, all right? There's so many amazing, talented readers out there for you to just click and watch, all right? So, um, how have you guys been doing lately, Aquarius? You know, I've been doing um, Air Sun series, so I did Gemini and then I did Libra. So, because I feel like if I do it based off of Element, it's going to be like a lot easier for me to do it. So, and I have to say, though, that you guys have the lighter energy rather than the previous two because i understand the mutability of virgo seasons probably could drive some libras crazy or how slow and earthy a virgo a virgo season might be that's that's driving a gemini crazy because they kind of like is they like they don't like to be idle they want things now they want to figure things now they have to keep going and everything like that but i feel like in regards to you it's kind of like how you have a beautiful energy now you have the judgment card you have the emperor card and you also have the princess of pentacles in reverse so in regards to relationship i feel like there has been a plan or an offer, a proposal, or you wanting to do something nice towards the other person that you kind of like postpone in doing so because you it's Princess of Pentacles. So Princess of Pentacles in a preposition, it means that you're kind of like planning something. It could literally be like a letter that you're preparing for them or an email or text messages, or you're just planning something nice for this person. You want to gift this person or what have you. But I feel like you guys are kind of like uh, postponing that idea and instead of doing so you guys are much more focused on the emperor energy so the emperor energy talks about creating boundaries the emperor energy talks about you raising your voice being kind of like quite vocal and assertive about what is it that you want and what boundaries can can another person could or cannot cross and what have you and you also have the judgment card here so it's a beautiful type of energy because you are at a point you've reached a point where you realize that well maybe things everything happens for a reason and i should not just fight for it instead of i fight for it i'm just going to be following the tide while making sure that me as my authentic self right now is being seen me as my authentic self and my authentic needs right now is being fulfilled so this is your focus from one to two weeks from now and i really love it because the overall energy you know the major arcana that we have here is not in reverse okay so what is challenging you have the princess of swords and then you also have the princess of wands so princess of swords talks a little bit of a confirmation bias uh, because this is the overall challenge, I cannot really pinpoint who is doing what to who. But what I can say is this. Whoever it is, is who is doing a little bit of a detective work, trying to find out an information about somebody, trying to be observant of somebody, that person is doing based off of the hypothesis or a theory that they've created inside of their head. So for instance, if this was them doing this to you they have a certain set of belief to say that you know what i think aquarius is lying to me or aquarius might be having an affair or aquarius is not faithful or what have you this person is going to be looking for information to support that theory and completely dismissing another piece of information that might support the theory that you guys are actually a good person so that's the princess of source. The princess of source is always curious, is highly curious. It also, that person might have like a Scorpio moon or a Mars and Scorpio because um, it circles around. It tries to study first before they attack. So I feel like they're kind of like quite circling around you for a little bit. And then they also have the princess of wands here. So they're, they kind of like have like a little bit of a receptive energy. So uh, one person in this relationship is too receptive, is too waiting for something because princess of wands is here. So this could be you or this could be them 
waiting for somebody and as you can see here this princess of wands has a ladder prepared or a rose prepared so if this is you doing to the other person you're like you know what if this person be nice to me or that if this person comes around to me and be nice i might be nice to them too or i might give them something or whatever that is but there's a passivity here that is kind of like quite challenging this relationship in the now so now let's jump into the past card so in the past card from their side they have the two of pentacles they have the three of pentacles and then there's this queen of swords and reverse and here from your side you have the high priestess and then you also have the ten of wands and reverse it's funny is it because yeah i feel like with this person you went on a personal spiritual journey by yourself where you need to understand yourself better and then you exercise like a lot of your patience to not jump straight into judgment or to not jump straight into the decision but instead of doing so you've learned the art of detaching yourself to observe a situation 360 degree view you know what I mean? And I feel like based off of that calculation, you're starting to let go of the things that has been burdening you. So if you feel like this person has been burdening you for quite a while, there's a high tendency that in the past you kind of like let go of a person in the past because, you know, based off of your spirituality needs, based off of um, your high priestess point of view, you feel like this person is not adding value into your life. Or if you guys are still together, you might be, you know what? I need to let go of this part of myself and also need to be vocal about this part of themselves that I feel hinders the progress of the relationship, if that makes sense. Because you feel like this person is not putting in any type of effort as much as you actually want them to be because they have the three pentacles in reverse in here. So in a traditional right away to row with three of pentacles we're talking about collaboration we're talking about reconciliation we're talking about two people head in hand being strategic enough okay this is my plan this is how i foresee the future and this is the type of way that we need to do in order for us to reach into that destination and i feel like because of the positivity of this person and the receptiveness of this person um, there is no action that has been taken. Therefore, you guys are like, oh, fuck it. Like, why am I the only person who is overthinking about this stuff? Why am I the only person who, you know, carries all the burden by myself? Therefore, when you went into your spirituality route or when you went to your religious route or what have you, you guys feel like, you know what? Well, maybe... I'm not going to be doing it because I'm just going to be focusing on myself first. I'm going to be focusing on my herself. I want to heal myself completely, not just because healing from this relationship, but healing probably from the narrative that I have based off of the trauma that I experienced when I was little and everything like that. So you were in a process of understanding yourself like a lot better in the past. This person is the two of pentacles. So in regards to you, there was not a decision that has been made as of yet. Two of pentacles. Actually, I want to clarify this because I'm nosy. Okay, so one of the reasons why this person was a two of pentacles, one of the reasons why maybe it kind of like aggravates you also in some ways in the past, you feel like this person is kind of like quite wishy-washy or you cannot really see like, you know, you cannot really like hold this. Okay, this is your position. All right, stay in your position. Like you cannot really do that to them. And one of the reasons why is that because um, they two went through a lot. You know, not only you were going through a lot, them too, they went through a lot. And they were in a process where universe or God or divine beings actually wanted them to become a hermit card, to understand themselves better, to not be so caught up in trying to impress other people or try to live a life in which other people dictate them to be. So Hermit card is understanding yourself. You know what I mean? What is it that makes you happy? What type of partner do you actually want to have in your life? And there's no denying the fact that this person actually sees you as the Ace of Pentacles. So Ace of Pentacles is a ways of thinking of, you know what, if I were to be investing something with Aquarius, it could probably lead to Ten of Pentacles. But because they were in a process of understanding themselves better and everything like that that's why they became kind of like quite wishy-washy in some ways and they were like the two of pentacles so um
to some Aquarius out there, they might be dealing with two people at the same time, though, so they might be juggling their options as well, okay? And why is that so? It's because, again, like, um, they were in a period where juggling is the best, safest route for them, and then the divine or the universe or God himself actually look at them and say, like, you know what? You know what? Now, maybe that's not what is the best for you maybe when you try to juggle people is because you're trying to distract yourself from the core issue which is yourself because you're not happy with yourself you're trying to make yourself busy with juggling multiple options because in the inside you feel hollow so this person in the past went through a long period where they were like the hermit card and this is for some of you who might be dealing with somebody who is juggling multiple options all right so Saturn and Capricorn really plays a big part on their progress as well. So they might be feeling that starting from 2018, that brewing sense of, you know what, I think I need to talk with myself. I need to have a very beautiful intrapersonal communication with myself so that I know what is it that actually makes me happy and what is it that doesn't. But in terms of you... If you were dealing with somebody who were juggling multiple options at the same time, those options that they have, and I'm not trying to romanticize an unhealthy relationship, but you know, I'm here to deliver a message <laughs> and I'm, I'm talking to you what I see. But when they mul juggle their multiple options, if they were to be sitting down with somebody and ask, like, look, like, who do you see yourself settling down with? The answer is going to be Aquarius, the answer is going to be you. But again, they went through a process. They are were going through a process where they had to understand themselves better, okay? Because people could be thinking that, you know what, maybe this type of life is the one that is much more suitable for me. And they could try and try and try, but then they will never find their inner happiness. Because universe would be saying like, oh, you want that? All right, I'm going to keep giving you that. But it's not going to make you happy unless you have an intrapersonal communication with yourself to truly understand that maybe it's time for you to be listening to your inner self. Yeah? And I know it's getting pretty, pretty heavy talk. But anyway, let's move on to the present card. Don't freak out. Don't freak out. Don't freak out. It's just me asking five cards in and now in Indonesia. Terima kasih Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Two of, two of swords, sorry. Still very, very indecisive. Six of swords in reverse. Six of pentacles in reverse. Five of wands. You guys are pretty, pretty stubborn about where you want to draw the lines and where you want to draw your boundaries. You have the five of wands. So unless things change, you don't want it. And I feel like you guys also kind of like withdrew from the situations altogether because you have the Six of Pentacles in reverse in here, meaning that you're not giving any type of effort whatsoever. And because of that, I mean, your attention, your focus, your energy towards them kind of like help them in some ways. But this person feels lost too. This person has the Ace of Pentacles. Oh yeah, I forgot to say, you know what? That Two of Pentacles in, uh, in the past could also talks about um, and also the Three of Pentacles could also talk about somebody who defined themselves with their relationship. So there's like a lot of codependency that they were doing with themselves. And they went through a period where the divine actually wanted them to understand themselves better so that they can create their happiness from within. So there's like a lot of codependency where they, they were defining themselves based off of the relationship that they're having. Meaning that mm, if things are not really doing so great with you it kind of like defines them too like they're not feeling so great about themselves too and they became much more sluggish at work they became much more lazy to go to the gym or taking care of themselves more what, what have you yeah and things are getting worse and now those um aquarius because you being very very masculine here with the five of wands you really really are like no i'm not going to be doing it first there's this tug of war and pride competition that is going on and then you not one thing to do anything in terms of the relationship kind of like mm, impact them more than it does impact you just so you know 
Gimana tuh masa depan? Nine of Swords. Four of Swords. Seven of Pentacles in Reverse. Justice card. Four of Pentacles. Yeah, you guys are very stubborn about it. You, you, you really don't want to be doing anything about it. And they kind of like want your attention so much. They crave you giving something to them. Six of Pentacles, you know. And there were times instead of, I mean, they're pretty decisive with that two of swords right there. So there's like a lot of inner conflict that is going on and a battle that is going on within them. And they're like, well, maybe this is not meant to be. Well, maybe this relationship is not working and da, 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 and everything like that. But it's, it's like you're driving them crazy. And it's going to get worse in the future where they're like the nine of swords and also the four of swords. So they might be doing something to, to get your attention. probably sending you a text messages like you know what Aquarius I'm done with you and I'm going I'm walking away and everything like that and you're going to be I mean you don't Aquarius are famous for being a ghoster you know what I mean like the famous Aquarius disappearing act so you don't threaten to disappear from an Aquarius where Aquarius is the master of disappearing you know what I mean because <laughs> you're like okay I'm done with you because they're going to be like okay I'm done with you I'm going to be taking all of my swords with me. I'm going to be taking a lot of my thoughts with me because you're driving me crazy. You're a selfish Aquarius and everything like that. And I don't feel like you guys are going to be replying at all. I don't feel like that. I don't feel like that. I feel like you guys are going to be like the Four of Pentacles. Like they're, they're craving for either a closure. They're craving for either a clarity. There's like a lot of, um, due to that, they're pretty codependent a little bit. Like I have to say this to you. And I know that I'm going to be getting like a lot of dislikes from Cross Watcher, but it is what it is. You know what I mean? Um, there is like a lot of questions inside of their head that they're wondering about you like did you ever take things seriously do you that you yeah did you take them seriously you did they ever matter to you um did you fall out of love from them and everything like that And these things are the ones that drive them crazy. Like you're driving them crazy. Past, present, future. It's them hurting. I feel like you went through this process before and now you've healed from it. You were the judgment card. So you're like, you know, everything happens for a reason. You became much more closer to your spirituality or your God. And you believe that, you know what? I believe that my future is still long ahead. So even if without this person, probably there's going to be something better coming in my way. And please show me some signs. I think a lot of you wanted to be shown signs over and over again. And yeah. Like you're still kind of like quite observant of them. But in terms of action though, like I think they're going to be coming towards you again. With that four of swords. Like they're that final message that they want to kind of like leave you. Or a threat that they want to break up with you or whatever. And you don't give them the satisfaction of answering like you know actually that they want something from you you know that um they either want closure or they want clarity or whatever that is but you're not giving that satisfaction <laughs> just be careful though if you're like pregnant if one of you is pregnant be careful because it might jeopardize the health of a baby. So just be careful if we're talking about a family settings here. But if it's like just dating or a relationship, it's fine. But it, if if it's if somebody is pregnant, just be careful of that energy. All right. I was saying it's gonna begin like this. Okay, so because I'm curious, I kind of like want to know what leads to this, yeah? 
what leads to this feeling why do they feel what they feel why do they feel so betrayed and abandoned and rejected and ignored by you is because they feel like in terms of relationship between the both of you they feel like they've changed they have the death card here they feel like they transformed and even if they were juggling with multiple options they kind of like made it clear enough that in terms of emotions you guys matter the most to them and everything like that but again you know if you're dealing with somebody with multiple options why would you stay never make somebody a priority if you're only an option to them right but they feel like they've changed and they feel like they're the one who wears their emotions on their sleeve and they feel like you guys are pretty detached yourself like the communication sometimes is great when things are great it really was great it's hot and heavy it's like the eight of wands eight of wands traditionally could literally mean sex but then they feel like you're also very very self-sufficient individual so it's like a relationship between an anxious uh, sorry yeah an anxious person with an avoidant type of person or an anxious person with a secure type of person because they do have like a little bit of a codependency where they define themselves based off of the relationship they're having in a now and relationship problems literally take effect dominantly affected other areas of their life be their work it could be with their family like they became much more snappy or they became sluggish at work less a spy and less motivated and everything like that okay so that's that if you guys are only dealing with one person but if you're truly over and done with this person and you're see um you're dating you are actively seeking for somebody a virgo won't be too nice for you like this is a newer person all right a virgo won't be too nice for you a leo won't be too nice for you a pisces will be won't be too nice for you a sagittarius gemini or a cancer would be good for you although with the sagittarius i would say be a little bit careful because i feel like the collective happiness that you have in your head versus the collective happiness that they have inside of they're more detached than you guys are like I feel like if you guys are dealing with a Sagittarius in the future, it does, we're not talking about the past person, all right? But if you guys are dealing in the one to two weeks from now, you guys meet a Sagittarius. This role, what you have here is in reverse, where you see the Sagittarius as being the distant one, and you're the one who is much more into the relationship, if that makes sense, okay? So that's that. So if you're only dating with one person, your reading ends now. And if you're single, again, your reading ends now. Now we're going to go into if you're dealing with two people. So if you're dealing with two people, I feel like none of these people here you're really interested in. Person B is somebody who you let go of because you feel like you're not going anywhere with this person. You cannot have a decent type of teamwork with this person. I feel like this person is the one that pushes your button the most, push your ego the most because you have the five of funds in here. So you're being very, very stubborn. No, I'm not going to be contacting this person. No, I'm gonna, not going to be doing something about this person yet and everything like that. This person right now is pretty indecisive over you. And again, this person in the future will, will, will try to walk away from you. And you're not giving them any type of satisfaction to give them any type of clarity or closure or what have you. And that's person b what about person a and is that person a is somebody who approaches you with a grain of salt so they're being kind of like quite careful with you and you guys are the high priestess so you're not really liking them you're not really interested with them like you're just observing of them and you feel like this person is a bit either immature or childish you just don't vibe really well with them so in the now you guys are much more of the six of pentacles in reverse so you're not get putting any type of effort but here's the thing here's the kicker you're basically driving two people crazy if you're dealing with two people you know <laughs> so this person finds like a lot of passion with you even though they're kind of like may seem like the two of pentacles and they're right pretty like you would see this person as childish or immature the way that their energy are and everything like that and but this person feels hot for you or might be a virgo too but anyway i feel like 
you're driving two people crazy, Aquarius, <laughs> because in the future, this person is going to go bonker. They, they're like the dinosaurs, like, why isn't Aquarius interested in me? Why is Aquarius still very cold with me with the justice card? Why is um, Aquarius friend zoning me and everything like that? So yeah, you really are driving people crazy now. All right. But is it a bad thing, Anissa? I don't think so, because you have that beautiful overall energy there. You have the Judgment card, and you also have the Emperor card. So Judgment is really... Like, even in the future, like, we're going to go back. Even in the future, when, if you're only doing one person, then this person... Sorry, guys, it was too long. But anyway, let's continue for a while. Because my battery is about to run out too. But even if in the future this person is going to be, I'm done, I'm leaving you, you're a selfish person, blah, 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 all those stuff. Even though you wouldn't they'll reply, you wouldn't give them the satisfaction of giving them a clarity or closure, but you'd still be reflective on that. You know what I mean? Like you'd be reading those messages and you'd be like, mm, yes, maybe I was a villain in his part. Okay. I admit, I admit. So there's, because judgment is a very open card. Yeah. I open, I receive every type of way. So it still is a beautiful energy there. All right. But anyway, it's getting too long. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching Aquarius. I hope you enjoy this reading and find like a lot of clarity through this reading. And I, I'll see you guys next week for another weekly reading. All right. Bye-bye.